Hi everybody, my name's Sue, I'm from Bradford Libraries um, and today I'm going to do a rhyme with you. You may be missing your story time or rhyme time because you can't get to the library at the moment um, but every Friday I'm going to do something at 10 o'clock um, hopefully so that you can stay connected with us. Um, I'm going to sing a rhyme first of all and it's going to be Old MacDonald and we're going to use my little Highland cow here and um, sing the rhyme. So rhymes are really important for us to um, get get into and get involved in because um, they're little stories in themselves and also they're really really good to help us on our reading journey. So after three, one, two, three. Oh MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O, with a moo moo here and a moo moo there. Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Oh, oh, I've forgotten my thing of me, Bob. I'll be back in a minute. Oh, what is this? A book. I love a book. Books are just amazing. So what is this we've got here? We've got Jake Bakes a Monster Cake. I think we'll be reading that today. That sounds good. Sounds really good. And who have we got with us? We've got Jesse the Unicorn. We've got Fudge the Hedgehog. And we've got the Storytime Fairy. She's going to help us out today with her magic. So, Jake Bakes a Monster Cake is written by Lucy Rowland illustrated by Mark Chambers and published by Macmillan's Children's Books. So shall we get started? So, one Saturday, Jake decided to bake a cake for his friend's birthday tea. He said, what a treat. Sam loves something sweet and my friends can help make it with me. Doesn't Jake look good today? He does. So, but you see, it was quite tricky. Jake's friends were so picky. Their plans were quite different to Jake's. They liked juicy bugs and fat slimy slugs and to, to flavour their favourite cakes. That day, Monster Tar arrived at Jake's door. Knock, knock, knock. And Ben walked behind with young Fred. Tilly was late, but she rushed through the gate. It's time to get started, Jake said. They hurried inside, and with aprons all tied, Jake showed them the recipe book. But Tar laughed with Tilly. Oh, Jake, don't be silly. We don't need instructions to cook. She grabbed smelly eggs, eight spidery legs, five ants, some old pants, about ten. She whisked them and whirred them. She mixed them and stirred them. She handed the bowl on to Ben. Ben shouted, my turn, and he threw in a worm. She, he laughed, it says here to add lime. Oh, do me a favour, no, my kind of flavour is luminous, burgy green slime. Look at all that slime, wow. Jake started to mutter, but what about butter? Perhaps some more sugar, he tried. Fred thought for a minute, hmm, then threw a slug in it. But these are so gooey, he cried. Tilly said, please can I add in some cheese? I promise it's really delicious. It's stinky and old, it's covered in mould, and the maggots are extra nutritious. But Jake said, enough, I'll have to get tough. You'll ruin our present for Sam. Then a splash of the paste landed right on Jake's face. Yum, what a good baker I am. The mixture cooked through. Jake called the whole crew to carry the huge bake outside. But then in a muddle, Jake slipped in the puddle and groaned as he watched the cake slide. It's falling over. Sam opened his door as the cake hit the floor. It fell with a splat to the ground. Happy birthday, sobbed Jake, while Sam stared at the cake and nobody else made a sound. I'm sorry, Jake cried, his eyes up and wide. Sam frowned and he puffed out his chest. He turned towards Jake. When it comes to a good cake. 
Mud pie is simply the best. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of our story. They're all happily enjoying their mud pie cake. And it was a wonderful day for all. Uh oh. Woo. Put the back where it came. I found my thing with Bob, but we haven't got time for that story now. Never mind, I'll catch up with you again. All right then, see you later. Don't forget to take the library's rhyme challenge. You can find that on www.bradford.gov.uk forward slash libraries. Bye.